different level. You won't see nobody like me for like 12 other years. You see, they do all the time. Hey, we I'm different level. You crazy? You can't even coach my type of style. They style is regular. I gave him crazy work. Listen. Crazy work. Crazy work. And then look. And the dudes you kept getting all this love to, crazy work. Crazy work. Don't ever try me. Let me go. Let me go. This sounds so easy. It's like some mad. He's tripping. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Check his drink. He's tripping. Why you up? Because I got some important shit going on here. What do you think? Boom, the world class. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence, and nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a I'm just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase is trademark, not to use the other tradition, Ricky Bobby. Ng. I had shared this, um, I don't know if the lady, uh, jump in, but I shared this lady's, this, this, this lady that, she's younger than me, but she, she on my Facebook. And I put, well, let me, let me look at this real quick, but I, but I think it's big. A lot of people are liking it or whatever. You know, you post, like, you'll share. Very rarely do I, like, share a woman's, like, picture. Because she, like, she's so naturally beautiful. So I said, um, this is what a real life now looks like. If you don't look like this, like, if you don't look this good, stop setting yourself up for failure by saying you're a non- or 10 just to feel included. So that's why I put in the caption, I'm reading it now. She looks amazing. Um, the reason I did that is because it's like most of the channels, BMU, I've seen Courtney Michelle talking about it. A lot of channels are really diving in on this trans thing. So it's like, ain't no point of me doing it because everybody, I think, are efficiently, efficiently and sufficiently addressing the topic. So I think we'll be losing though because a lot of these topics come up of you know these these men are getting tricked by these outfits and shit so i think i think it makes sense these outfits i'm sorry not just the outfits the makeup the the surgeries the the um witchcraft is what the fuck i call it and i think it's important for men especially men like myself who have the eye for it to start highlighting real natural organic non-gmo beauty i think it's important to start acknowledging that uh because a natural like i would love to show you this lady but i mean i could you know if i can find i don't know who who in this face courtney or, or lucky or somebody let me see if i got a picture on the deck let me see i got anything on deck i don't feel like looking for nothing all right i don't have anything on that not uh that's on stream right however um I, mean, I can find a picture at some point, but it's just, it's just, I think, I think it's pretty, it's look like, it seems like it's really hard for people to, especially the young dudes, like young dudes or these like incel or kind of incel or semi incel dudes, it's hard for them to really recognize what a real woman look like, a real natural woman look like. And I think, it's, I think we have to take responsibility. Uh, as men and as leaders to really go highlight their track just for the point of attraction i know there could be some naturally attractive organic looking women that be pieces of shit yes that's exactly what i mean right <laughs> i get that part and you don't kind of want to give them anything because they pieces of shit but at the same time you have to do your due diligence well the due diligence has to be done for the ones that don't know to do it yet and what to look for what's natural, what's not natural, you know what I mean? And that's why I did that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people hit the like, you know, they hit the like button, they commented on it, um, in, in agreement with me. And what a real nine, just not that she a nine, but what real natural beauty, cause she got like makeup and shit on, a little bit of makeup, but just, you can't really, it's not egregious, you know what I'm saying? Maybe our standards have been low, lowered, cause I don't like makeup at all. Cause I'm the type of dude that, if I got a girl, with me, I'm gonna lick your whole face whenever the fuck I want to, you know what I'm saying? 
calling What's me. going on? Get him I heard what you said. I, 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 I didn't know if you, you knew this. No, I'm just asking you what's going on. Didn't I get that. Get I, want to, I don't know why you're not listening to me. No hair. Let's back up for a second. I just, <laughs> I just want to get clarity. Mm -hmm. You you hear what you're saying out loud, brother? So, um, that's my deal. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think natural... Like, at the end of the day, I love women. I'm very heterosexual. Uh, I've got a lot of interactions with uh, very attractive women my, most of my life. And um, it ain't nothing like an attractive, like a sister from the U.S. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just have a different level of attraction. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't be giving y'all niggas that much flowers because y'all got enough. You know, certain people I will. Natasha. Oh, look, as I'm saying, it, you've been in your thing. Nisa B. You know what I mean? Always shout out Courtney, Choo Choo, Suzette Speak. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all get dolled up to y'all because y'all make it more natural. Not just that their appearance is natural. Because at the same time, like the young lady I was talking about that I shared her picture on Facebook, she dressed pretty modestly. She flies a motherfucker. She she got the whole shit. Like, but she's not showing her fucking, you know what I'm saying? Her whole body and shit like that. Like, that shit dope and shit. So you can see she got natural beauty on the inside. Because really, people that know that they're attractive, you know what I'm saying? You don't be doing all the extra shit. Like, I don't wear... I'm not into fashion because I know I'm fine to enough women that I'm satisfied with the attention I get. So I don't be doing extra shit. And you find that... I find that with women. When women know that they're really... They don't be doing super extra shit. Now, they be trying to compete, right? But at the end of the day, there's still a level of standards that they keep, right? So... And I'm specifically talking about attractive women because... You see the beauty industry, or whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry. I, mean, I can't fucking fake. I can't say fake. I can't do the politics shit. The gay community that's trying to control how people look. Fuck it. I don't. I can't fucking do it. They um want to make everybody look like them. I heard Courtney say it. I heard a lot of people say it this week, uh, over the last week. I think week and a half. And y'all have to pick up on that. And I think, but at the same time, men like myself. As I said this on the show, I said, we got to do better at acknowledging, you know, what's attractive to us versus what people think is attractive to us. Because a woman thinks I got to have a big old, this go with the BBL shit too. It's not just the, the trans shit. I got to have a big old galactic butt to get attention from men. Because I'm not going to lie. It could be women shaped the same. The girl that's overweight walk by and the girl that's in shape walk by. The girl that's overweight going to get the most attention because everything jiggling and shaking. You know what I'm saying? We attracted, the eyes attracted to movement. Everything jiggling and shaking. Everything is bigger. She got all them colors on her ass. It's attractive. It's, nothing, it's literally physically attractive. But it don't mean I want her. But I think we haven't, as men, we big old, that girl got a big dumb ass butt. It's like, and niggas gonna say that, right? But it's not really the butt, it's the shape. And, it, and it's not just the shape, it's that she, it's her genes. She's shaped like that. Because we are just astonished by how God put that together. Like, when you... God, nature, whatever the fuck. How the fuck did you sit and create ass? Like, what the fuck was you doing? Like, nigga, that's what's up. Like, whatever God was doing when he made the hips and shape and the lips and all of that, my God. It just, I don't care how I I'm extremely disciplined. Bro, I'm telling you, a thick, a thick well-shaped, well-behaved young lady crossed my eyes. It's like, oh, yes. I just forgot what I was doing. Depending on, you know, how attractive she is. So, but I think these young dudes is getting caught up. I think the young, also the young ladies are getting, um, are getting anxious, not thinking they can compete with all of this, um, I don't know what they call it, synthetic artificial beauty. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what we're going to call it on this channel. Synthetic artificial beauty. You know what I'm saying? That's what that weird shit is. I don't like to put them trans people on my, on my channel. But what I can do is, I can kind of highlight who I think is super pretty. She, uh, IG. Let's see if I can find her. Because every time I'm on the computer, I can't find her, but I can find her on my phone. It's like the phone and the PC got two different um, my fucking uh, algorithms or something. All right, I, 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 I'll show this one. Oh, there we go. Let me stop with the post. All right. All right. Damn. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. IG. I don't even know this lady. I just seen it from no IG right now. It's one of them suggested shit. I don't know how to make it big, to be honest. Yeah, I can't. I don't even know how to make this shit big. But honestly, as a man, I know for a fact all that is most, it should be natural. I don't, you know. It's hard to tell, to be honest. Obviously, that's not. That's natural. The thighs match. It matched the height. Obviously, she got on heels. Like, I literally just clicked the shit and seen it, but I don't, I don't want to click it. She looks fucking incredible. Chocolate, tall. Look cute, I can't see. Yeah, yeah, she's tall. I can't, I, I can't make it closer. I don't know what else the, the fuck to do. Bigger than me. But I think it is important. I think we have to start acknowledging natural beauty. But then um, I think I think we can couple it with also acknowledging like having a standard of yeah I, I want a natural non GMO non plastic non synthetic non artificial woman right but I also want your character to reflect the beauty and if it not if it don't I'm not going to acknowledge you you know what I'm saying like how I'm doing now I just physically want you this is a man this is it's a I got like a ninety percent well ninety percent sure this is natural. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, <laughs> I've had plenty of look like this. So that's how I jiggle. You know what I'm saying? But if you had a woman, right? Her height, just as cute as she is, may not as not as thick, but she got the shape, right? A woman a little bit more petite. This girl is gonna catch more attention than her. But if it's another woman who thicker than her, same height, same cute, they're gonna get as much attention. But it's y'all gotta stop thinking that it, the attention actually means something. That's cheap. That's just like on YouTube, right? The attention you get from the outfit you got is no different from YouTube. Your thumbnail, but this is for the content creators, your thumbnail, which is impressions, right? It's going to come through multiple shit, right? Multiple people want to see it, but who's going to press it? Like, who presses it? Who, who clicked up with you? Bars. That's all that matters. And then out of the ones that's clicked up with you, who really, who really, this is the most important thing for a man or a woman. Who is the right fit? And people think the right fit is who gonna let me fucking have my way. Now the right fit is you all the things really match up for me to be spend uh, an hour with you, then I'm never gonna get back again. Does that even make sense? Do we have a real organic relationship? Is this a real connection here? Because I'm telling you, I've done it for the young brothers, I've done it, bro. I, I didn't did. I, 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 I'm keeping shit of me. I'm only being transparent, not because I think it's cool, but because it's just I don't have no way to lie. I'm just not a liar. I don't lie. I've dealt with had had in contact phone numbers at least fifty women just off their body. I've done that in my life. Not not saying fuck, but I've dealt with at least fifty women in my life just how their body look. It never works out. It doesn't make any sense. They can be like, oh, but I'm really into you. Nah, I was wrong off rip. I was wrong. It don't matter how right you are, how right you think I am. I was wrong. It just never play out like that. It don't never work ever. It just it always end in just the worst way, because you you validating the le the the what I would say the beast part of her, where she don't really got to be talented. She don't really have to do anything. You getting her end all be all. A chick, listen, a chick that's into attention is not a woman. That's not a girlfriend. That's not a wife. That's not a baby mother. You, you look good your whole life. You look this great your whole entire life. You into it, like this chick right here, I wouldn't say nothing to Not At 37, I wouldn't. At 22, I'd, I'd be down her throat. No pause. All play. Because she looks fucking amazing. She look, far, she look good from afar and up close, right? This girl that's in this, this picture, I'd have been in her face and instantly. 37, hell no. Hell no. Because it's a way to look that good and still be modest. Yeah, granted, she probably a model. Let's say she's a model. Let's give her, you know, you know, some obvious things. She's clearly modeling, right? I just let her out probably day one, day two. At 22, 37, no, I'm good. I'm good. But at the same time, it comes with experience. And a lot of these dudes don't have experience. We grew up assuming that everybody was getting pussy. Everybody fucking. It's easy. Because you hear chicks fucking, but niggas don't know that the, the, the niggas ain't fucking. I didn't know these niggas weren't fucking because niggas be lying. 
So it's like when these women on the on the satanic sisterhood side of the game, I sound like I'm from Chicago. They um they like like these niggas be lying, these niggas be lying. I'm like, I can't do nothing because you niggas be lying. Yeah, so um it's this lady though. I'm, I'm trying to find Jesus Christ, this lady is lying. Yeah, fellas, y'all read her. Read the face. Y'all, yeah, bro. Yeah, this is not a, yeah. Yeah, I'd have, yeah, I'd have married her. They want to put a ring right here. Flat out, this is a minimum. She's like 7.8, 8.5. I mean, it's 8.3. Bottom That shape? Nah, I don't know. It could be a BPL. I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is, this is too much. Dang her. Oh. Uh, I got. I got. Um. Real quick, y'all. That uh. What's up with the um? It was a brawl. Or something. A nigga hit a nigga with a chair. or Something like that. Or hit a white bitch with a chair. What that? What's that about? I don't know about that. 9.5. Yeah, she's fine, bro. She, she look good. Why not? <laughs> you always said chef flat out. Oh yeah, cheeky chat. It's lit, but it's definitely it's definitely got You know what I'm saying? Any any chat with sugar bum got wrench, you know it's got over. So she got one over here, it's got over. But y'all, you know, she don't be acting up over here that much. She did that one time. I take her damn wrench, you know that. Say baby mama. I listen. Hold on, let me go back. Let me go back. Because let me put this shit back up because it just this has to be understood. This is this is precisely what this is our name. Her name is the one Diana Scott. Diane. Look at this frame, bro. This is what child support look like. <laughs> this, this look like child support. This is child support. Why not? This not even. Ain't no question. When they shape like this. Yeah, this this is child support. Uh, shout out to them. 18 years. 18 years. 18 years of child support. Yeah, so. But I think um, what I was saying was, you know, we have to. Uh, we gotta acknowledge, we gotta encourage, especially the women that's on some real shit, that's supportive, that's in these spaces with us, not just on the internet, but in real life, you know, be encouraging of organic, non GMO beauty as best we can. I am anti all of it. It's the part, you know, it's just, I don't know, there's so much dumb shit going on. It's like you can't even really convey to, to young women or older women what beauty is to a man, right? And they go, oh, well, I shouldn't. It shouldn't um, be just about me. Who the fuck told you that? Who told you that? Like, you want to be a wife and a mom, but you're going you gonna to go by the beauty standards of other women that can't get you pregnant and can't marry you. Like, I don't understand why we being that dumb. Because men don't do that. Men don't do that. Yeah, nigga, you need to get a girl that's just that no. I don't even know how to talk like y'all talk. I don't know. I said and think about it. That don't even make sense. It's not even equivalent to how y'all talk. I don't even get it. I don't, I wouldn't listen to a nigga about what, how, how. how no. no, I barely even listen to women. They be like, "Oh, get the get your hair cut like this." No, I'm not getting my hair cut like this. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna listen. To yeah, nigga, you were you would look cute with your hair cut like this. Nigga, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, I must you. Don't tell me that. I think, I think, I think, oh shit, yo. Yeah, I think, I think you should wear these pants. Why you think I should wear these pants, y'all? What you saying? Why you saying that? What's wrong with you? Don't tell me, don't tell me what pants to wear, yo. Why you be, what, what you know about men wearing pants, bro? Why you know about that? Like, what's your experience with that? Like, you don't get the fuck out of here if I beat you up, nigga. That pause. I don't even say, fuck, fuck, son of a bitch. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take a time out on that one. Oh man, I can't say beating the up at this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you look good in this top. Top? What you mean top? Why you saying that? 
how you get right there i don't want no fucking like, attractiveness advice from a man and i think that's the um the one thing that helped me with um my flyness when i was young i try not to be fly now because it gets me in trouble but um the strippers and like the beauticians and uh, um Oh my god, the hairdressers. They be knowing what's in, they be knowing what's fly. Bro, listen, that's what I'm trying to find this lady, bro. I love a woman that's just fly as fuck, that know how to hook the colors up and all that. Y'all be into the hair and all that. A woman that can just be coordinated, that's just colorful. When her, you go to her house, you go to anywhere, her space is clean, it smell good, it's color coordinated. I don't know, maybe I like OCD chicks. I don't know. But that shit be some sexy shit. When you got a woman that's just organized and structured and if, like her, this girl right here, she flies a motherfucker. Like this, I know she a model. We can see she a model, but that shit is fly, bro. Outfit is it's fly. It's, 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 I got her arms out. Got the chocolate face and neck and cleavage, and then her arms and her toe, like her chocolate little feet, and then the the colors and all oh, that shit is fly. Bro. Like a fly ass woman. We like our outfits. We like our. We love y'all fashion. We do. <laughs> you see me picking y'all up today? Big bro, what's up? Brother, oh, no, baby, what's up with you? What are you saying in chat? Peace and love, peace. Laughing at you? <laughs> <laughs> what you say? They watching your jeans. They trying to get in your jeans. <laughs> oh, nigga trying to give me some motherfucking advice. Nigga, what you mean? Why are you talking about what I should have on my body? Why you, why you know about that? What you, what you, what, what's going on? My wife said, that's zesty. What zesty mean? That's exactly what zesty is. <laughs> yeah, I, I, what I, think, for Baltimore talk. I think I think you look good in this. Hey, hold on, hold on. wait. What's, oh no. What you hold up, huh? You said I would look I would look <laughs> I don't know what that means. I have no I don't know what that means. And I don't want Real I don't talk. Want you to Real talk. I'm like Kevin Hart right now. Hey, you see the new episode, instead of whooping people with belts, now we whooping them with tears. Whoever that is, you need to go across their head with the cheer. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, see, I just asked about that. I, I I don't know what's going on. I just see the memes. I don't hey, ever be no... I just be saying memes and shit. Like, what the fuck is going on? Man, they went down in Alabama. Montgomery, Alabama, it went down. It went down. Our people stood up. I call that a chapter 25. <laughs> if our brothers in the university assist them, the brother threw the hat up, like some Batman type junk, right? Like that was the sign and the symbol. I'm in diversity. And you seen brothers and sisters, they were swimming across the water to get over there to fight. Oh, that's what's up. She said, that's our little nephew over there who swimming across the water. <laughs> that's what's up. Oh, somebody said in the chat something about child support. My wife can help you with that child support. I'm going to be quiet and listen to my brother. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I was saying the, the girl this girl that's in this video, she looked like child support. And so, so Nisa said, every woman doesn't go uh, go to child support. That's what she said. Rob says, uh, he said, the problem is too many women look up to these three or fours and wonder why they bump into uh, F boys. That's a fact, bro. I was talking, I was looking, I, I forgot what video, I think I was on Mr. Um, Mr. He said channel and he was, um, he brought up a clip by Danica. Danica was saying some real shit. So Danica Marie, I think it's her name. She be saying those shit. I like her as a content creator. She definitely be calling these chicks out. But Danica was talking about how these women that they look like prostitutes. You know, they get their culture from prostitutes. And like as she's saying that, I'm like, oh, looking at her face, like, sweetheart, you're everything on your face is prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, oh my God. It's just, it's just uh so it's so uh, ironic, bro. Her full face is prostitution and it's just uh just uh, man i tell you that's wow that's how deep it is but she no she definitely say some dope shit and you right rob man they they're in, again so that's why i say the stuff that i say i uh, my my a lot of the stuff i say is more so bore uh maybe boring because we've assumed so much and got so far away from the fucking real deal that y'all just we into the, like the tick for tat shit when you're not looking at the source area, the source of shit. And we, I said this multiple times, we don't look at TV. We, we, we haven't looked at media like TV as for, for what we should look at it. 
ain't about a hundred. It's less. Than, I think it's still less than a hundred years old. We don't really recognize the effect that TV has had on our brains, and the time you spend in front of that television, bro. Just stop watching TV will dramatically change your health. I think TV has a lot to do with mental illness today. I think it's like at least it, it, I'm being super conservative, super generous. I think te television specifically, not even movies, not plays, not the video game, not even the computer, not YouTube. I think TV specifically is responsible for a minimum of 60% of the mental illnesses that we have. A minimum of 60%. Minimum. It, it like it's it's walking, it's not even walking, it's it's epilepsy. Like flat out epilepsy and damn near Tourette's. You sitting there training your brain your brain to, to, to have mental illness. It trains you to have a short attention span. It trains you to have this over exuberant reaction to these visual inputs, giving you a a fake synthetic association to reality. Then if you see it a lot, you're going to want to do it. Like any baby on earth, offspring, watching the older, you know, his parents and the older generation is going to want to do what it sees. All right, well, your baby is watching the world in a dimension that don't exist. <laughs> so the baby going to want to do shit that is seen on TV. So these little girls are going to think it makes sense to dress like the, the, the pretty actresses on TV when the pretty actresses on TV are modeling their attractiveness after prostitutes and this is looking like they look when they're trying to go out is what whores used to look like 1500 years ago 2000 years ago the whore the slut the prostitute the 304 the hoe is where y'all get y'all fashion from and i you know what i take a conscious sister right and you take any one of these average chicks and I promise you, how many more more niggas will pick the conscious chick just on looks than they pick the prostitute? The conscious chick that's 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 that has on a um the shea butter, the oils, the different oils, the different things going on, barely the little to no makeup, the um the, the culture, because culture is way more attractive on women than this modern bullshit and some fucking makeup chemical shit. The hair wrap, the burka. Bro, I'm, bro, I haven't seen some women in these. With the I'm like when, you, when your shape is showing through the burka and the hijab. Oh my girl, girl, what? Curly hair with the fuck off? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I don't want no stripper with the fucking uh, green hair and lashes and shit. Like y'all have been tricked into th like culture on a woman is so. Oh my god, that shit is really sexy. The arm with the with the little like all that shit. Like you nigga, look at Erica Badu. Erica Badu gonna get any nigga. I seen this video. It's, it went viral of Erica Badu talking about some young boy she wanted to see. And that nigga was there that day. <laughs> he was there on the stage with her. And she's about as what they call earthy. Right? Yeah. Earth, she's a that motherfucker is I hope to God I don't ever see her because I'm gonna be dragged. That's that mother, and her daughter looked way better than her. And this was crazy. What? And nigga gonna pick them earth culture. You know, I just use the conscious chicks because, you know, they be the ones y'all really want. Whole time. I ain't gonna get into that right now. That should look way better. But so it's no question that men are more attracted to the cultural women because you look at the Asian women, you look at the Hindu women, niggas like, damn, that look good. Niggas don't go, damn, that don't look good. She look good if she had weave in. Probably the little super uh sheltered little hood niggas that don't know nothing but TV. Maybe they may say it, but most people look at an Asian woman in her culture, they look at a Bolivian woman in her culture, an Arab woman in her culture, like, damn, that motherfucker look good. Zimbabwe. Nigerian and her natural culture, culture look better on women than this modern shit. So why do the little girls, because not only are you going to get the attraction you want, you're going to get the respect you want. I see a thick woman coming down, but she fully clothed, like she coming, walking past you fully. All niggas do this. She fully clothed. She looks professional. How you doing, man? What's going on? Even if the most ghetto nigga was talk to her respect. But if you got some chick walking down the street, butt jiggling, doing a little fucking stalk walk where they just pop their knee out to make their butt shake and keep chewing gum with the lap. I bet you a bitch. I ain't gonna respect you. With the weave in. I told chicks 15 years ago, ain't no nigga gonna respect you if you got weave in here. And it sound crazy when you say it, but I'm like, all right, just watch. Just go look. Just go pay attention to me. Just go look. 
Fuck me. Don't care about what I'm saying. Go look for the next 90 days. I bet you see that shit. I bet you, I bet you, I bet, I swear to God. 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 I don't want to talk to this one lady for this. This lady does look fucking incredible. So she got look. Like, she got the little... I don't mind this. Like, I, I get it. I don't want to see it, but I get it. Like, this right here. That's what I want to see. Like, the natural this. I'm not... Come on, bro. She, that's just... I'm not... She pregnant. Flat out. First first week, she get pregnant. Immediately. As long as your mom right. Her mom right. Nigga, it's lit. It's up. And it's stuck. Ain't that what y'all said? Yeah, I don't want to see weave and green shit in your face, lady. That shit is fucking stupid. Um, Red, you said did I see her IG? Are you talking about um, Danica? I think you mean Danica. I can I, I don't know. I'm not on her. I don't got her on IG. I don't got her on IG. Uh, Mike, Mike said I love the fish nest. <laughs> Ladies of the night with the fish that man, you listen. This is attractive, especially when it's tight and it it like it like it squeezes on their thighs and you see like the little diamond shape in their leg. I get you. Uh, he, uh, Mister, he said said I'll take uh a syringe and a hair wrap any day. Syringe? Am I saying that right? That's a lot of work. <laughs> I did, but y'all know I'm not lying, bro. Y'all know I'm lying. Y'all know I'm not. I'm not lying at all, man. Culture looks really, really good. And then her natural state. Like, I love when I see, um, let me see if I can bring it important. When she just wear her frizzy hair, or when women just wear their, like, nap like this. I only gotta pull up. Look, that lady, like, I love that shit. Like, I like how max up. No, you don't. You look fucking amazing. This, this, I be feeling podcasts. When podcasts be like, these women look amazing. This nigga says amazing in the most fucking amazing way. But yeah, they, we would love to, you know, celebrate your natural beauty too, but. Y'all don't, you don't believe in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want me to have full faith in you and be with you and only you. You know, y'all know I'm doing monogamy shit. But you're not even doing you and only you. You know what I'm saying? I Make it make, it can't make sense if it don't. I don't even want to say that. If it don't make sense, it's not. Let me see, what else? This is, this lady is extremely attractive. Let's see if I got some more shit. I don't know, natural. You just want, and this is IG. You know they be picking fuck on IG. She had like thirty-eight thousand. Uh, whatever her name is, the one. Guy in the sky. How the fuck do you regulate all that? I don't know. I still don't know how to use IG correct. This is one girl, bro. I don't know her name. Oh my god, her. That just that just inspired me to look. All they did was go to IG. All I did. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not too much shit in life more beautiful. That's world class beauty. Why would you pick something that can't be grabbed? Her hair is kicking out. I, I grant it, I know she's black and her hair and everything. But when she did that, it was super curly. She got to comb my head. It was super curly. All right, you see what I'm saying? Why would I want less? The only reason locks falls because it's denser. Everything is tied up. Yeah, that's Courtney. So why do you have little girls? You don't. What you think? What what green hair can you put that's more attractive than that? It's on site. I promise. Yes, you will. Goddamn right. I see Courtney in real life. It's on site. Cuffed wife immediately. Like, it ain't even, I ain't even thinking about it. Like, hold up. Listen, you got, it ain't no way in hell. You getting out of here. I ain't, I ain't got no game. I'm just like, listen, ma'am. I don't know who you are. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna let you get away from me. Like, it's not even gonna happen. I'm just, just figuring this shit out right now. No. <laughs> no. She. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready.
<laughs> My nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Courtney Michelle. I was using you as an example earlier on Natural Beauty. I'm pretty sure you don't care. But, um, I had a little a little rant about uh, not dealing with these non-organic GMO uh, <laughs> chicks out here. But I was highlighting uh, Natural Beauty, so you know what I'm saying. You just to, you whatever video you 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 put on IG with your hair out, which is just looks fucking amazing. It's literally my favorite hairstyle one. Yeah, I'm gonna highlight like that. <clears throat> Washed. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. <laughs> you know, like something happened. We are you. Being with the world class.